Yo, what's good, guys? We are uh, working on a toilet. Got my little M12 trusty shop vac here to suck out any water. You know, normally if I'm pulling a toilet, I'm using the OD liquid lock. Um, but I'm going to be shop vacuuming all the water out because we're going to be tipping this thing over. And the reason why is because the customer called us. He was having issues with it clogging. He had another plumber come out. They ran an auger. It cleared, but as soon as he started to throw toilet paper in it, it back up. And uh, he ended up getting a little auger. And every time he put paper, it clogged. Run the auger, clear. So that's a sign that maybe something's stuck either in the trap of the toilet or uh, right there in the band. So we are gonna pull this toilet and uh, we're gonna inspect the area. Check it out and see what we see. And uh, for instances like this, I got a little M12 inspection tool. Um, I think it was a couple hundred dollars There'll be a link in the description below uh, of the one I got, but there's many different brands out there too. It's great for small little jobs like this. If you got to get into tight areas, you can uh, see. I like this camera though, because the head will swivel um, as you're rotating the camera. So that's nice, but I didn't see anything in the drain and uh, yeah. I end up throwing it up in the what toilet to check the, the trap. What is it? What is it? Is and sure <laughs> enough, man, we uh, we discover a foreign object. That's a toothbrush? Looks like it. I don't know. Yeah. So you can what see right the there, there's like a yeah. plastic ribbed object in there. And well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty I'm sure at case. that time it was a toothbrush. Uh, everything is pointing to it. And so the moment of truth, we'll take a look here. And that sure looks like a toothbrush, brah. And that poor toothbrush was a few hundred dollar toothbrush there, man. 